everybody, I'm Casey the Rockstar Flipper. Uh, welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday evening. Um, today is October the 4th, 2016. We have began a new month um, on Saturday, of course, when I was out of town. Uh, I'm just getting back into the, the normal flow of things. Tomorrow should be a regular sourcing day. That's why we haven't had any haul videos in a few days. Um, I'm going to follow tonight's video up with a little bit of what we talked about last night uh, i got a ton of questions um <clears throat> we discussed stuffed animals last night plushes uh tomorrow i am going to the outlets which is where i typically see the older lady that sells ten thousand a month worth of stuffed animals on her ebay account um so i will try to get her permission to share her information um i can't guarantee it but i hope she'll be kind enough to let us look at her account um, with that being said, uh, I want to go on to the whole cleaning and shipping um, process that we do for those items. A lot of people asked about cleaning them. Uh, I got questions about bed bugs on the stuffed animals, about spots, stains, and then uh, I also got questions on how we properly ship them by weight, the cost, all those questions. I'm going to cover them top to bottom tonight. Um, but before I jump into that, uh, you guys know I am in Florida. I am in Gulf Coast, Florida, uh, just outside of Tampa Bay, um, and there is a very large, dangerous hurricane um, that is in the Caribbean right now. It, uh, looking at my other computer, um, it looks like it just left um, Haiti and is over top of Cuba right now, um, and it is definitely doing some damage in those countries. Obviously, they are poorer countries. Um, they do not have the same structural housing that we have. They don't have the same supplies. They don't have the ability to escape the storm. So really keeping an eye on those guys down there. Um, and by tomorrow evening into Thursday, the storm should make landfall. Here in the U.S., it looks like it's going to clip the edge of the Atlantic coast of Florida, which is about three and a half hours from me. So we should be okay here. We might get some rain, some winds, but nothing major. Uh, we'll keep the other side of Florida in our prayers. Hopefully they'll be okay. It looks like it's going to actually slam into the Carolinas, North Georgia, the Carolinas, more than it will Florida. Um, hopefully going, clipping the land, going over these islands and over the colder waters of the Atlantic will slow this thing down and get it out of here. Um, but just keep all those people that are in the path of that storm um, in your thoughts, guys, because it is a big one. It's dangerous, and it is doing some damage right now, uh, especially those poor people down in the islands that, that really don't have the protections that we have here in the U.S. So really a bad situation that I'm going to keep an eye on um, throughout the next couple of days. Uh, but I want to get that out there. So let's jump into the purchasing cleaning and prepping and then the processing and shipping side of not just stuffed animals but this goes for a lot of things that, that you and i and, and all of us resellers and everybody buys and sells um, but i'm going to focus on the plushes because a lot of people ask that so let's jump into that right now okay guys so one of the big questions that i got asked was about the prep work the cleaning and uh and bed bugs and spots and stains and smells all that kind of stuff so there are two uh, quick ways that you should really take care of both of those um, birds with one stone. And I'm going to show you guys. I got, oops, I got uh, our favorite little Smurf guy here. This guy's actually pretty good size. This guy weighs right at a pound, so uh, he's probably a bad example, but we'll use him. He's in great shape. He's clean. Um, but if he wasn't, we can use a magic eraser or a baby wipe to kind of clean his, you know, his stains off if he had them. It'd be very easy. Um, the first thing that you really should do is you should throw all the stuffed animals that you get into the dryer for about 15 minutes. It needs to be 113 degrees, so about medium to high heat, nothing major. And you can do this after you spot clean them or before, it doesn't matter. But once they've been through that dryer, use a really good smelling bounce sheet. We always keep those dryer sheets really good smelling. This will give them a good scent, and that temperature will kill any bugs that they have. So that's bring them in, throw them in there, bang. You're done. No time out of your day. You just click the button, let them go, and grab them when they're done. So, uh, you know, between spot cleaning and tossing them in the dryer, you should kill all the bugs. You should kill anything that's on them. You'll be able to get rid of the stains, and you'll give them a good scent. The other thing we discussed last night, uh, the good-smelling trash bags with the dryer sheets. You can store them in there if you want, or you can store them in a bin and put dryer sheets in. However you want to store them is good. That'll give them a good scent for when they ship 
out. You don't want to overdo it, but definitely make sure that you know they have a good smell and make sure that you've killed the bed bugs just by tossing them into um, any potential bed bugs by tossing them into the dryer. So I'm going to show you guys now. This is a huge question for shipping. This is our poly bag. This is for shipping first class. You certainly could ship priority in this, but typically if something is big and heavy and weighs more than a pound, it's going to go padded flat rate. It's cheaper, but you could ship priority in this. But I use these for pretty much just first class. So they just open up just like any normal poly bag. I got thicker ones. They're good quality. They're about 30 bucks for 500 This particular size that you see I'm using right here is 15 and a half by 10 inches. I looked at my purchase orders on eBay where I bought them and they are the self sealing. You just, once you get your item in there, you just peel that off and then you'll just stick it down. You can add some tape to make sure, but that's it. So this guy, if he was going to be shipping, make sure to put your label on first when it's flat. Cause you don't want to stick this guy in and then try curving your sticky label over. It doesn't work. Stick the label to the envelope first. And then when you're shipping a stuffed animal, as long as he fits in this poly bag, there's no reason to ship him with any kind of padding. I mean, he's a stuffed animal. This one might be a little tight. That's why I said this guy was probably a bad example because I picked the biggest stuffed animal I could find. But assuming he fit into this and was under a pound or going first class or whatever it was, you'd stuff him in there. And then, you know, usually they're smaller. I would probably ship this guy in a bigger poly. I have some other polys that are bigger. Um, but anyways, you'd seal him up. He'd have the label on him. And he's on his way. Stick your thank you card in there, of course, which I don't have any near me, but we would do that. And that's all you would do with the poly mailer. It's pretty much that easy to ship Papa Smurf off. He'll be out the door in about two seconds. So um, that's all we do, really, for processing and shipping these guys and cleaning them and getting them all ready. Um, we also, and if you give me just a second, I will find it for you. I just dropped it while I started the video. But um, some people wanted to talk about shipping stuffed animals and and padded mailers being too expensive because the padded mailers cost too much. This is a padded mailer. It actually has the padded bubbles inside. Same thing as this. They're exactly the same thing for shipping purposes, but for cost purposes, this is about five cents and this is about 15 to 16 cents. These cost way less than these easily. This cost, this cost me $30 for 500. This cost me like $90. It's literally five cents to 15 cents. It's like three times the cost. The reason that you would spend more money on these is if you're shipping items that could potentially be broken. And what do I mean by that? Let's say that you are shipping somebody this toolkit, this is my personal one, but let's say I sold this to somebody. You don't want to put this in a poly mailer. Even if you bubble wrap it, stick it in a poly mailer, it's got real no real protection. So we would bubble wrap this. We'd stick it in a bubble mailer, and it gives it that double layer protection. You want to use these bubble mailers for items that you don't want to get broken. We also use them, I've got another example, on video games. Into the bubble mailer. It's got padding. It won't get crushed. You stick in that poly mailer. It is going to get crushed and damaged. So that's the reason that you use the difference in these. I keep both in stock because we sell breakables and we sell clothes. These poly mailers are great for clothes because your clothes can't get hurt unless they have some kind of special, you know, zipper or glass thing or whatever on them. If it's just a t-shirt or, or a sweater or something, bang, right in the poly mailer, seal it, no bubble wrap needed, no extras, no nothing, thank you card, on your way. So a lot, a lot of questions about that. I hope that answered it. Poly mailers versus um, bubble mailers, both are self-adhesive. See if you guys can see that. Both are self-adhesive. So you just peel the, that means you just peel this off and they stick. And that's pretty much it, guys, for uh, for the bubble mailers versus the polys. You guys know how to prep the um, the stuffed animals or anything like that. Uh, so that takes care of all the questions you guys had last night. It's a follow up. Um, hope that uh, explains it all. Hope it breaks it down. Hope hope it makes it easier for you guys. Tomorrow is a haul day. It's Wednesday. It will be a haul day. It is half off Salvation Army Day. It is uh, Goodwill bin outlet. I'm going to get up, go sourcing. I've already printed a ton of labels for Kate. I'm pulling her orders. These will all go out tomorrow. 
Um, on top of, I've got some more i got to print out before I go to bed tonight. So those will all go out for Kate. In the morning, she'll just have to pack, ship, and get back to her listing. Um, I want to do big, big, big purchasing tomorrow. I want to leave the Goodwill outlet with 50 or 60 pounds, if possible, at least 40. I want to go to the Salvation Army and hit the, the half off really hard. I want to go to possibly a thrift store or two also on the way out. If I have time, we shall see. But I want to do a lot of purchasing tomorrow. I want to build up stock for fourth quarter. I really want to have good sales. So that's tomorrow. And Thursday's video is Steve Rakin live with everything about Amazon A to Z. Really looking forward to that, guys. I want to get everybody on that live show. Uh, I will get a time. It will be in tomorrow's video. In the meantime, uh, I will um, link Steve's video down there. Let me see if Steve has put the time up. I've actually got this down. Let's see if... Uh, if he's got the time up yet, and I'll be able to give you guys a solid time right now. I believe we were talking about 7 Eastern, um, but I could be wrong. Steve might have said 6. He might have said 8. I think he said 7, so let's see. Um, he does not have uh, that event scheduled yet, so I assume he'll put it up tomorrow. Um, anyways, I'll put the link. It'll all be there tomorrow. Um, check that Thursday live show out, and then Friday will be live on my channel uh, for Q&A Friday that you guys need to get in. Uh, no video Saturday and back to video Sunday. So hope you guys enjoyed this video about packing, shipping. Um, it's I know it's quick, it's easy, it's simple, but a ton of people ask questions about that. Um, just to give you guys a final breakdown, you use polys for clothing and stuffed animals. That's pretty much the extent of what you use them for or anything that's not breakable. You use padded's for iPods, small electronics, toys, games, things that need a little protection. Um, and padded flat rates for heavy stuff that need protection. So that's it, guys. Have a wonderful night. Thank you again for all your questions, your comments, the new subscribers. Um, thank you to everybody that has gone on my Patreon account, which if you haven't, uh, the link is down in the channel in the description box uh, as well. And uh, I want to shout out all those people that have gone on my um, Patreon account. Uh, and there are five of you uh, that I want to give extra thanks to very, very much um, for going on there. And basically Patreon is just an account where people can support a channel like mine or, or th there's other people. There's, there's, um, there's artists and music and all those things. And it helps us reach goals that we want to reach. Uh, my particular goal is to hire uh, more employees to handle the resale part so I can help you guys um, more. And that's pretty much the only reason I created it. It's an awesome channel. Uh, a lot of you have gone and visited it. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope to see more of you guys over there. Okay, so the five people that have gone to that Patreon account, uh, I've, I've named a few of them before, but Paul and Nicole Rhodes, who uh, thank you, thank you so much for your support. I will be in touch with you um, some more. They are going to be doing a video suggestion for me to do. Um, Linda Locatel, uh, she as well uh, has gone on a Patreon. Thank you. Um, Tanya uh, For Forni, I hope I said your name uh, correctly. Thank you very much, Tanya. Um, Tom Brawley, who Tom B is a very, very long time viewer, very, very great um, subscriber and comments and emails with me back and forth. Me and Tom talk all the time. Thank you so much, Tom. And Joanne Duncan. Thank you, Joanne. Uh, I know you chose no reward, but I still will reward you uh, for your donation. Thanks so much for going on there, guys. Uh, check out Patreon. Make one for your own account if you want. It's a cool place. A lot of cool people on there, uh, and I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys go to social media. The Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook account are very active. I've got somebody working on them more and more. They're going to continue to grow, uh, and I appreciate all of you that have gone and checked those out. Uh, if you like this video, like it. That's the only way that those of us here on YouTube that make videos know that you guys enjoy the videos that we make. Make sure to pound that like button. It's right over there. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I know most of you already are subscribed. Uh, I'm looking at the subscriber button now. We're closing in on 7,200. I can't believe that by next month, and I would estimate at my average, being that I need about 2,500, I'm not very good at math, but uh, let's see if I can do some math here. I need about, no, I need about 2,800 more subscribers. Um, it looks like around a month and a half I'll be at 10,000. So with that being said, 
I am going to do a giveaway at 10,000 subscribers. It will be for subscribers only, so make sure you're subscribed. Um, as long as you're a subscriber, you'll be a part of the drawing. It'll be random. Um, I don't know what I'm going to give away yet, but I'm going to make it really, really, really good. It's going to be something worth being a part of. Um, I'm going to do some kind of contest, some kind of like uh, – question and answer or riddle or something that you guys will learn by watching my videos, finding the answer, submitting the answer. And so being a subscriber and having the answer, you'll get an entry for the subscribership and an extra entry for finding the answer to what I find. Kate came up with that idea, by the way. And uh, we'll do a 10,000 subscriber giveaway because without you guys, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't have anything. So I want to give back to everybody. 10,000 subscribers is... Whew, mind-blowing i can't believe it thank you so much guys uh we will get there soon it looks like it'll be about 40 days so we're looking right in the middle of november before the holidays perfect for the giveaway maybe we'll do something for amazon or ebay christmas help you guys with christmas shopping i don't know we'll figure it out thank you guys so much i'm gonna get this video up i've got a lot of work to do i gotta get labels printed i gotta get messages emails comments everything responded to so i can go out sourcing and have a huge day tomorrow Enjoy your Wednesday, guys. Let me know what you guys bought. Show me what you bought. Show me what you've sold. Show me your, your scores, your pickups, comments with everything. I enjoy seeing those. Not only is it fun to see what you guys made a profit on, it's awesome ideas. Everybody else can write down those items in their list and buy them next time, and so can I. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful